Have you ever had a conversation with somebody where you wanted to be funny, to make some jokes, and how through the conversation you recognize that your opposite does not understand your humor or thinks you're stupid as fuck? Well, this is pretty, pretty clear the situation of the following interview with Mastodon. And, you know, the album is about sad stuff and I wanted to, to make this a bit lighthearted and <clears throat> no good idea and I think it's it's kind of hilarious at some point and if you want to have some information at the end we'll split it in two parts so if you can stand this shameful first part you'll be rewarded in the second have some fun with my shame <laughs> you know I never was a fan of Berlin and I can imagine a more depressing town in winter than Berlin, but we have a very good reason to be here. Myself and Robert, my editor-in-chief of Silence magazine. Um, and the reason why we stay in Berlin today, you will see now. We really appreciate that you have some time for us that oh, late afternoon. We've and got all day for you. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you nearly run over me with your bus on Summer Breeze Festival. Yeah. And um, thank, you. Right. thank you for not killing me. Run you down. <laughs> That's thank what we do. We try to kill people. We try to stop evolution in its tracks. You're too far advanced, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. That, that, that yeah. was... No one's ever said anything that, that nice that, that, that. Yeah. yeah, it's nice, right? Maybe I'm falling in love with you later. But that, <laughs> no. that depends on as how... A, as a, yeah. That depends on how... That's the, called the, Stockholm this. Syndrome. <laughs> I'm, yeah, does I'm Berlin have a syndrome? No. Berlin's Stockholm does. If Berlin has You're a syndrome... You're dropping syndrome, the ball on syndromes. <laughs> if Berlin has a syndrome, it would be something depressing, I think. Really? Oh, so you're saying Stockholm's <laughs> syndrome is <laughs> a happy one? I guess because you fall in love it's with your all captor. It's about love, yeah. Yeah. Maybe not. Absolutely. Do you like Berlin? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> ich, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was convincing. <laughs> ich bin ein Berliner, right? Hey, our president said it best when he said, "I'm a fucking donut." Uh, I I don't I don't want to to become so political in this interview, but do you want to talk about this topic or? No. Okay. <laughs> You know, uh, German guys do really like to talk about politics. We know. Foreign history. politics. We know. Okay. Um, then, first <laughs> of all... I've been in, in the thick of it a couple times here. You know, with the last... With the Bush disaster, mm. I remember. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> 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 I don't know how many times... I remember having an argument with somebody about Bush and I just... It's like, listen, I didn't vote for the guy. I don't, I, I don't support it, but he just wanted to fight. So, yeah. You know, he so, so argue. he thought you are um, probably. Just, you're American. You're, you support this guy. You know? Our country is so divided right now. It's like, a giant. It's, almost, it's like half and half, and it's like it It's not half and half. Well, it's uh, Trump's our president, so somebody voted for him. It wasn't me. Me neither. Let's talk about some, some Let's talk about more happy something things. Else. Maybe, yeah. maybe uh, yeah. I hope so. First of all, it's the most important question, I think. Um, is the album going to be a good album? Is there a song on it? Or maybe some more songs? Will they be good songs? Lyrics on it? There's mm -hmm. lyrics. There's good songs. Every song's a good song, of course. I think. What is that, by the way? Yeah, that's the real <laughs> question. You got the questions about our album. We got questions about this. Uh, Why? Yeah. Why are you doing this to musicians? This, this is to, <laughs> to artists to, to catch uh, women. To if catch them. To catch them. Oh, yeah. You you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you walk around. Most people get a Ferrari or something. Yeah. They are coming over. Oh, you poor dead what's cat. this? And can I wrap it? And some. So and then I'm next thing you know, you got a date. What kind of noise does this produce for the camera when you touch it like this? I don't know. Purring. Maybe maybe we'll we'll hear it now. Coming back to the question. Will the next album be a good album? Will it be the best album you ever made? Yeah, we hope so. Okay, thanks. I mean, thanks for the interview. Yep. Yeah. We'll see you. <laughs> we'll see you later then. Can we keep this dead cat? Do you have a pumpkin spice version of this that we could use? To lick it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We, c we can make it. Dave? Yeah? Can, can we make a pumpkin spice dead cat? 
Pumpkin spice bath cat? Yeah. This windshield. This, this windshield <laughs> for the mic microphone. We need something that smells like pumpkin spice so we yeah. feel more <laughs> at home. It smells like uh, everything, at, breath. everything in America is pumpkin spice. Yeah, we can do pumpkin spice latte. We have a pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin spice. We have a yeah. pumpkin spice president. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know. <laughs> you can see it. Uh, He's a basic bitch. Anyways, our new album is going to be the best album that's ever been produced by mortal beings on this planet and any other planet for that matter. And it could be the last album ever because after all this awesome stuff, every brain explodes and. Yep. Everybody's going to die because your goal is to kill all humans. That's right. <laughs> I mean, if you kill say with, so. We're going to kill them with kindness, but, but still kill them nonetheless. Once more on the sun, <laughs> it was a smart kind of metal. The New York Times once, um, you, you could read in the New York Times, do you pretend to be smart motherfuckers by playing progressive music? Is this your goal? I'm always pretending to be smart. <laughs> that's that's my goal in life Are is to not be embarrassed by my ignorance, so I cloak it with smartness. <laughs> what do you do, Bill, to pretend that you're smart? Uh, I just don't say anything. It's this, better this, to this works out fine. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the German out. way. Only sitting there, awaiting something to happen. It's better to keep one's mouth closed and thought of as an idiot than to open it and remove all doubt. Hey! They even called you intellectual. Oh. That means the and, same as smart. And, and this, 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 <laughs> this citation was, was uh, part of the official uh, material we got for this interview. Do you, like to, do you like it to be called intellectual? I'd rather be called pretty. Next time, uh, give, give us a text with... Uh, saying uh, Macedon are the most awesome and sexy looking guys on the planet Earth. And in, 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 the, in the moon. Why can't you the moon? just yeah. look at us? Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, 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 you know. We're smart and you intellectual. Eyes, <laughs> use your eyes, man. You're one, beholding our beauty as we speak. One, one eye. Behold our beauty. <laughs> Getting straight onward with this intellectual thing. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad you decided to make the new um, album a bit more suitable for common dumb people like me <laughs> and um, there are of course songs like show yourself um, where you can smash your head repetitively against the wall and this is something I like as a metalhead okay good. and uh, do you like uh, your audience at your at your shows um, what do you like them to do when they hear your music like smash this your head against yeah the wall. like this thing or getting undressed Undressed, not so much. <laughs> we so don't want to see all mostly them dudes. dudes naked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. clothes. Yeah, we don't go that please, way. You know please, please put your clothes on. Yeah. First of all, but put there's your always on. there's always about five or six guys that take their shirts off at least. I mean, that's all you can really see in the crowd. They might be have less on, but uh, they take their shirts off, and they could be you know trying to show off their muscles or whatever, or maybe they're like big chubby guys or hot and they're in the pit. You know, they're, I don't know why they do that, but they, that's part of the ritual I'm not sure what's going on out there you know I'm, I'm busy <laughs> chopping vegetables back at my workstation back there yeah uh, there, I mean you know somebody's got to got to do that prep work we got to get that restaurant open I mean you know it's not like you know what I mean you can't it's leave open you can't leave uh you can't leave the head chef sitting there you know he doesn't have any onions to work with you know you got to get a base going you got to have everything's got to be done so yeah. I, I if you just watch any pull up any video of me playing the drums i'm not playing the drums i'm chopping vegetables that's what's happening back there so i don't have time to see who's naked who's not naked what they're doing what they're doing out is. there if i'm not looking at the vegetables that i'm chopping up and getting ready for you know for 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 opening I'm staring at Troy's butt, I'm staring at Bill's butt, I'm staring at Brent's butt, you know, and that's, a, I got a wall of butts before I get to whoever's in the audience, you know what I mean? That's, that's my reality, you know what I mean? That's what I deal with a, on a, day a great day. wall of butts. And, and this is your motivation to, to play live and go on tour? To, yeah, to I base my, all, I, all yeah. those butts. That's right. And my family's proud of all this. And that's, this is what I base my whole life on. Bronze butt watcher, is what they yeah. call them. You have to switch to Emperor of Sands. 
ascent and um, let's talk about time and these minutes running out and what is this album basically about? That's what it's about. <laughs> That's exactly what you said. Making the best of these minutes. Yeah, the minutes that you have. Of Five. Like falling through <laughs> the uh, hourglass. Fun. Uh, yeah. Make the best of your life because life's short. Especially when you get old. Yeah, it's shorter. Do, do, do you think time runs faster these days? Yes. I think it's the same. It just feels faster. We wanted to. Originally, <laughs> when we first sat down, we were, we were totally prepared yeah. to be deep and uh, introspective and have a, give a thoughtful. But then you started... You set, you got, the, you you set, start, the, you set the tone thing. for a more um, a lighthearted, more joking... Uh, interview, an atmosphere, and uh, so we started. That's what we're doing, and that's what you're getting. And when you guys walked in, now uh, you remember when you walked in, you said we're funny. We're the funny guys from the YouTubes, and we got our funny YouTube stuff going on, and that's what we're doing. So Bill and I started bringing the funny right we're, back we're, at you. We're waiting for the funny part. We can so, try to be funny. At so least. now you want to know what the <laughs> album's about, and the album's about sad stuff. Yeah, and now we're not but feeling sad. We're, we're feeling because how am I gonna? Now, you got a, a regular microphone. Okay? I, I have uh, I have this um, dead cat too. Let's, for uh, this. That's dead, and it's sitting over in, in your suitcase, and <laughs> rightfully so. But and so now I'm supposed to talk about sad stuff, and look what I'm holding. That's kind of, you can't be serious with that. <laughs> I mean, Sorry. how am I gonna do, sit do, here do want to and, try and, and how am I gonna sit here and cry into this dead cat? You can dry your tears, up your tears really easily with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of part one. Uh, if you want to go to part two, please click the link below or the link I put in here somewhere. I don't know. And um, yeah, what you just saw was a, a very bad um, way to go into an interview about an album that handles with set stuff and... Sometimes this happens. Hopefully you come back later uh, and um, try not to hate me for this. And now click the link below. Bye.